What's going on guys? Today I'm going to build a rod holder for the top of my truck. We're about to go on about a four month road trip and I don't have room in the bed of the truck or inside the truck for my rods. They range anywhere from six and a half feet uh, to seven and a half feet, almost eight feet, some of them. So I want to have a way to protect them so they're not in the elements and also for a safe way for them to travel. So that's what I'm doing right now, building a DIY uh, rod tube storage. I have this big six, six inch PVC pipe right here. And I also picked these up. Um, they're by Ultra Toe, but there's a few different brands like Reese, and they allow their end caps for this tube right here. And you can put a lock in here, and it will open up, so you can get access to whatever you carry in here. This is actually meant for um, truck workers or plumbers or electricians, uh, conduit holders, things like that. But I'm using them to store my rods. So let's get to building. So the first thing I'm going to do is just sand this down so that my paint can stick to it. In this case, I'm using the Rust-Oleum 2X cover, the flat black. And um, just want to get all the nastiness and the dirt and the stuff off from this. So I'm just going to sand it down just a bit. All right, next I'm just going to use this paper towel just to get off like all that PVC shredded stuff and just kind of wipe that down a little bit. All right, now that the surface is all uh, sanded up, let's get the spray and do some light coats. All right, so the pipe is drying right now and we got to flip it over, do another coat. In the meantime, while that's drying, we're gonna do a little customization because nobody cares what the heck Ultra Toe is, but we do care what Yak Tribe is. <laughs> High quality customization right there. Y'all are, <laughs> what are you laughing at, Shane? My camera woman is laughing at me right now. It's a good idea. Boom. All right, so the next step is to get this mounting started here. Um, I'm actually going to put some silicone in here before I drill these just to make sure it's watertight. And uh, yeah, let's do that first. All right, now that we got the silicone on there, Go in for the mount. Boom. Get this locked into place. Um, I that block. I just get... Then we got the next one. This is the locking part. And you can put a lock right there. Let me get this one lined up. Put some silicone in there. Okay. Just want to make sure it's nice and uh, waterproof. Yeah. All right, so the last thing we need to do is actually get this on the roof racks, position it how I want to, and then they come with these brackets that go right over it. And then they've got these little bars here, and then you just use these little nuts right here to get them cinched down, and you're good to go. And then once this is all done here in the next few days, I'm gonna print two like 30 inch Yak Tribe decals and finish this off with the nice Yak Tribe decals. 